The action at the U.S. Open is heating up today as several big-name players take the court in the battle for more than $20 million in prize money. For a closer look at the business of tennis, Bloomberg's Vera Gibbons joins us live from the Open with an expert. Vera? That's right. Hi, Laura. Yeah, we're at, live at the U.S. Open. Record crowds or near record crowds. And in large part, they're coming here because of the big names. Federer, Nadal, the Williams sisters. And we are here with a guy who represents a lot of these big big players in the industry. Fernando Solar. He is head of the tennis division for IMG. Thank you for coming on. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Let's talk about some of the big names you have. Federer, sure. number one in the world. Yes. You've got Sharapova. She makes more than anybody else that I know. It's only 20-some-odd million. Mm -hmm. How has the recession changed the way you're doing business with these big names? Well, to tell you the truth, and as it happens in other sports, the big names are the ones who suffer the less because they are the most sought and the most wanted by companies. So, so far we are lucky that we are lucky that we didn't suffer that much with them. And if you look at them, I mean, the case of Federer, which is an unbelievable case, he just broke the record of uh, Grand Slam wins, 15, 15 yeah. which is absolutely amazing, unbelievable. No one did mm -hmm. that before. So that that means that you know the companies are really looking forward to work with him and. and and the problem is to, 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 to do it in a, in a right way because right. he's so busy with uh, his family and his commitments on the court. But renewing deals is one thing, but getting new endorsements all together, I would imagine that's more challenging even for these big names. You're right, you're right. But you, you need to think that, I mean, fortunately, not all these deals are for, up for, for renewal now. I mean, right. you do normally long-term deals which are between three and five years, and that doesn't mean they're going to fall this year so yes you're absolutely right this is a year that companies struggle to to have budgets for marketing and sponsors and things like that but you know at the same time we are also finding ways different ways to work with the players and the companies that so are so you're really changing profitable. the way you're doing business because of the recession well a little bit it sounds i mean like. i think it's not just us i think that the, the reality is that for example do hospitality activities this year it's been tough some companies didn't want to invite or be seen as inviting clients in tough times to to glamour things. Um, there's a stigma with that. There's now, a bit yeah. of a stigma, but I think this this is going away as quickly as, as as it came because the reality is doesn't make too much sense. And how about the players themselves? I mean, are they becoming more strategic in the partnerships and the deals that they're looking at that well, you're bringing to them? I, I will I will say that each player is different. I mean, a player like Federer has the privilege to look now at really long-term deals because he's so consolidated as a, as a big star. It's not the case of, of other players who are younger, who didn't win that much. In that case, for them, deals for a period of three years could be good enough. And you mentioned Federer and his 15 grand slams, but we all know what happens after these guys become fathers. He's a new father, just had uh, twins back in July. And we all know that Agassi had one major after becoming a father. McEnroe, one grand Grand Slam, Connors, just three Grand Slams. So are you concerned about Federer? Well, you are, very good, you are very good with the statistics, but <laughs> I'm going to give you another statistic that since he became a father, he only lost one match. Yeah. So it's not so bad. So, you know, mm -hmm. look, I think uh, being a father for Roger Federer, uh, you know, just my opinion, has been a great thing. I mean, he looks better than ever. He yeah. looks happy. He looks relaxed. He knows what his goal is in tennis and in life. And I don't see any problem. On the contrary, I see about, is he going to be a hot endorsement property five years out? Well, I think that, as I said, I mean, he's the kind of guy that we're looking for longer-term deals for him. I mm -hmm. think companies need to need to have the, 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 the will to do 10-year deals, for example, it, it, deals that include licensing, deals that really engage him in the mm -hmm. in the product. I think that's what is calling his attention. So all the guys on the upper echelon, there's only a handful of, of tennis players that are getting the big money. Where does that leave the guy who's number 100 or number 200? They're still fabulous players, but all this money is going to the big guys, and the little guys are maybe getting uh, a complimentary uh, grip. Absolutely. I think these are the ones who are suffering the most in, this, in these days because the, the industry itself, you know, the Nikes, the Adidas, are paying more attention to the top stars and the junior stars, not that much to the, to the players ranked below 30 or 50. And what about some of the legends that you represent, Bjorn Borg, Chris Evert, Monica Seles? How do you keep these retirees in the money? I mean, some of them want to keep a low profile, particularly Monica Seles and Bjorn Borg. Yeah, I mean, le let me give you the example of John McEnroe, which is quite relevant. Um, first of all, he's a, a guy that 
enjoys playing so much. So he's been a star in our senior tour for so many years. But at the same time, we've been able to capitalize on his great image, and we did very good deals this year for him. Other players don't like to play that much, but for yeah, example, with Boris see. Becker, we've been doing yeah. other things in Europe as well. Excellent. So, Thank you for joining us. We're cutting, we're being cut off. That's right okay. <laughs> Fernando Soler from IMG. Laurie, back to you. Vera Givens, thanks so much.